All right, we're back for another consummate opinion. I'm getting a lot of heat already for this song. I'm getting laughed at right now. Uh, I have the intern here and Bianca Jordan. Can either one of you say something just to make say sure you're something. on here? You suck. Perfect. <laughs> That's great. All right, so for the first time tonight, we're on uh, this uh, app called Periscope. It's like this little video deal. It can only see me right oh, now. I'm, I'm the like, only one oh, on the video. no, I know you wouldn't do that. No, not tonight. No, uh, <laughs> I'm the only one on the video right now. The intern is hiding. She is uh, mad at me tonight. Uh, Bianca Infinity. Jordan's off to the side. She's not going to be here the entire show. Infinity. But Infinity what? Infinity mad at you. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to roll without actual ability to go on the websites that I picked out tonight. I'm just going to go off the show notes. So I really hope my outline looks good enough. And hopefully we can go off stuff. Why didn't you send them to me so we could actually? I did. The Check your email. I got mine. You sent me the outline. I checked the outline. I can't send you ten websites. All right. So uh, what are we talking about tonight? Um, wow. Well, wow. uh, liege. Yes, I am the liege. Thank you yeah, very you much. Yeah, that's yourself perfect. When you do I don't show. need to introduce myself. People Maybe know who I am. I hear shit in my headphones. Nothing. There's nothing. Well, that's fine. Let, let's try to fix that for you there. Oh, perfect. If I could. Okay. Yeah, if I could set it up, I would, but being that you're sitting so far away tonight, uh, how was that? Well, that that's good. That's, that's good. Perfect. All right, so uh, I'm still planning on doing a show on Monday on Radio Sherry. It'll be the first time I've done that in one month. It'll be an exact Ooh. month. Yeah, I've taken some time off uh, to just not do shows. I've sent shows in, but it is what it is, RadioSherry.com. Uh, intern, you'll be on that Monday night or Monday afternoon, right? I sure will. Got nothing better to do. Yeah, intern quit her job since the last time we've had this show. Uh, freedom, what's up? <laughs> yeah, how, how's that working out for since you? I've been gone. How's freedom? Um, I feel fantastic, if I can say so myself. I get to be like housewife, and it's, it's really It's pretty fun. good, actually. I oh, actually feel you like go. I, I know I don't have to run everywhere I go. I'm not in a rush for anything. I don't feel like I live in a prison anymore. So you know, wow. it's all very good plus sides to not. Because the living that. arrangement has changed. Um, no, because my job arrangement has uh, changed. Job arrangement. And I was there about 50 hours a week, so it's kind of like my living arrangement has changed in a sense. Yeah, because she has time to actually enjoy the things that she has instead of having to go and. Got to go do this, got to go do this, got to go do that, got to go do this, right. in addition to trying to have a life. It's hard to work and take care of a house, yes. for sure. Slave away. Welcome to my Irish world. Pub. I would rather kill myself and mine. than ever I go into say anything. Irish I'd... pub ever again, as I interrupt you guys. Which is fine. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of that whole uh, like job and life situation, we're looking in Brooklyn. We're looking at sp some space in Aww. Brooklyn. Yeah, but we don't tend to agree on things, so... Who knows how? But that's a wonderful so foundation for a marriage. Not it is. agreeing on stuff. Yeah, no, it's great. It's really great. Especially like if you're doing things and you don't agree on things before they even happen. It's really great. Okay, and here's where this started. Before we get into anything, this is where this started. Tonight, uh, I don't even know why I mentioned this, but I asked, what would you name a daughter if you had a daughter? Okay. Her response was the name Freya. Maybe My she just didn't want to tell everybody that name, and she went to save it, and we just told everybody. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. But she told me, and that's enough. And I go, seriously? Okay. The name Freya to me sounds like something no, from, no, like, no. the 1800s. It reminds me of Olga or Hilda <laughs> or, no. or something No, he didn't just say similar. seriously. He goes, seriously, that's fucking awful. I did say that's fucking awful. But I get, like, she she wants something different. It's not like a... Michelle, or a, like a standard name. Bianca. Not the uh, Bianca. <laughs> it's not like it's a standard name like that, and or I Ms. get it. Bianca Jordan herself. And and I get it, but earlier I got a FaceTime from Bianca Hill. I oh really? Be, that nice. was Bianca Hill. Oh Bianca Hill with the FaceTime. Bianca, really a uh, popular name tonight. Very. But uh, yeah, I I you know I might have made some statements that you know might not have been the greatest statements at the time, but. And what did I tell the intern? Maybe the name will grow on me. 
No. The goal is not to have a girl as it is. So the I mean, the goal is to not have a girl. Do you really a know boy. how to control that? I do not. Oh, okay. So it's fifty-fifty. So it is a fifty-fifty proposition you're just a on my rude part. Human being. If it's a boy, can it be Freyo? Ugh. No, it'll be Wyatt. <laughs> it'll be if Wyatt. It's a boy. Yeah, we're both in agreement on that. Wyatt. I know a little boy named Wyatt. It's probably pretty cool, right? He is cool. I like the name Wyatt. I think perfect. It's name solid. Wyatt's amazing. So that's perfect. As I, you, I you can name Wyatt, Wyatt I, I believe a can girl can be named can Wyatt no, too. I can't. I can't hear shit. I'm taking these off here. As the intern passes off the headphones. I can't hear anything. Okay, There's we have to talk at least one topic because I have to go home. Okay, topic. I can hear perfectly on this. I don't know how you can. You're lame, and you have stupid oh, points of views. Oh, this is great. I have stupid points of views. All right, so we're going to start with the first one here tonight. Uh, actually, we got to start with what's new with you. Uh, what's new with me? Not so much uh, since the last show. It's been about a month. I uh, had my birthday. Happy, happy. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, how was that, Chief? My birthday was... Oh, oh. brutal. My birthday was fine. Uh, went to Atlantic City. It was shared, fine? Uh, no, shared my birthday with uh, the intern's best friend, Courtney. Oh. Yeah, that was okay. They have uh, the now exact same we birthday. have the exact same birthday, July 14th, exact same birthday. And it was good, but I would have oh. much rather spent my birthday with the intern by herself. Oh, I would have. How sweet. Would have been a lot more fun. Oh. So, in accordance to that, we're going to go with oh, uh, like the gaff. The intern is what we're going to go with the gaff for his birthday and to Atlantic City. so much better. It's not on. No, I'm on. No, you're not. I'm talking currently. Yeah, but it's not on. No. Is it on now? I, I guess. Could, I could hear her. I See, mean, I can't way, hear on. her very well. Oh, because the microphone thingy that you have on your head isn't there it working. Is. I'm I, hearing I, it a I lot better now. No, you're I awful. Heard a lot That's now. why it's it's on. You're just not hearing it. No, she's it. super excited about the gaff. Super excited. I hate the gaff with a passion. The gaff loves her though. It's no, like a passion you can't, that you burns. Can't hate. You can't hate. No, That's it burns so in wicked. my heart. I the the passion that I hate for him burns in my heart. If that You're makes ridiculous. sense. Now, too short. So That's we're gonna short, we're gonna yeah. do that. But uh, being that our uh, why do you always turn your mic off when you're done speaking? Because I don't want people to hear me breathing. <laughs> so you have heavy breath. I mean, I could and not know it. No, you're fine. I could be like. <sighs> Yeah, that's I really love like. everything. That's not no, attractive. That's, that's no not one wants to hear that. No one wants to hear that. Yeah, well, um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, so that's what's new with me. Basically the same thing with the intern, except the fact that she's got to hang out with her best friend last uh, last couple of weeks, pretty much solid, straight through. It's been through. like a week and a half, not even. Till. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. Right? You had fun? I, I had fun, yeah. No, I, I felt like myself for the first time in a while. It was great. Wow. Yeah, That's no, cool. I'm getting a lot of heat tonight. What's what, I'm going to skip this over to you. What's new with you? What's new with me? Uh, I, Bunch of I've trips. been on tour, like the equivalent of a rock star. Went a couple of places, a lot of places. Did a lot of work and caught up with some old friends. Actually went to a city where I am a loved legend. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. Facts. How yeah, are you a legend? It. I want to hear about this. I am a legend because... Um, I, without disclosing it, I work for a company. It's it's kind of small, but in Chicago, it's a big deal. And my reputation is that of a star. So when I went to, I went to, we did a couple seminars and a couple workshops. And when I would introduce myself, I, one time, everybody always smiled. But the one time I got literally a round of applause. Nobody ever got that. That's because I'm a loved legend. But I am literally heading out, the reason why I can't, do this entire show is because I'm going to south of France tomorrow, my first vacation since my new job. And I used to go on vacation every month. So this is going to be something else. Must be nice to go to France. Must be. It, you know what it is? And I can't wait to go there. I've been before and cannot wait to go back, like counting down the hours. So. Oh, yeah, I've been to France before. No big deal. You have? Just, no, Just I me? haven't. I'm mocking you. Oh, mock away. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. That is my motto. So... You go somewhere all the time as well for pleasure, my friend. Yeah, we go to down the street. other countries, no. Yeah, we go to like Point Pleasant. And where do I go? France and Mexico. Oh, no. Las Vegas. California. California. Work. Mexico. My children live there. Would you like one of them to sleep in the bed with you and kick you in your kidneys all night? No. Because that's you what happened. It. No, you loved it. Because I love the people in my life. It's not the, you know, if they were here, I'd be 
doing the same thing except here, but I get on a plane to do what most people get to do normally just by getting in the car. It's harder than everybody thinks. Time zone changes, long it's flights for the bad management. back. Yeah. It's all about time <laughs> management. Apparently, I'm doing better with that because I was told that I did a poor job at that. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Lead operator. Uh, all right. So uh, we'll start with our first. Anything else? No. Nope, we'll start good. with our first topic because you probably you only have what? one or two here. Honestly, I'm happy to be with you two right now because I won't get to see you for a while again. But I will say this. You, Liege, remind me so much of my intern that I have, so I just think that that's ironic. Oh, fantastic. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is, it's, it's fantastic, actually. Yeah. My intern is a little cooler than you, though. He's a little uh, more agreeable. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. I, I do take some rough stances sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a little all more agreeable. Time. And I throw, I throw him in the fire all the time because it's always last minute. But intern, my intern is pretty freaking awesome. It happens. So, all right. Uh, so first one here. Confused. Police investigate why toddler left in Florida vehicle. Uh, there's a 16-month-old left in the car. Child did not make. Uh, Pasco or Pinellas? Uh, I don't have the actual uh, website. Uh, so actually, actually, it that's was in Florida. That's really disgusting to me. That's really it was, disgusting. It uh, was. 16-month-old left in the car. Uh, father forgot to take her to daycare. Completely forgot. Went to work, came back. Ouch. Parents work for state attorney's office. Correct. The parents did work for the state attorney's office. So it's not like a situation where it was just on purpose or anything on like purpose, that. On purpose? But how do you forget your child? I, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, that day, the temperatures were in the low 90s. Child was found at 3.14 p.m. So... You go from, okay, if you work at the state attorney's office, chances are you're going to work at 8 a.m. I don't, okay. Chances are. And I if mean, you're found at 3 in the afternoon. How do you get out of your car and forget your kids in the back seat? Well, there's this new thing where what they're trying to do is to raise awareness for this. Put something that you need in the back seat. Cell phone, wallet. I, I don't know if a human like being. Uh, you need a cell phone yeah, or a wallet you, more than you need a child. Hey, I, right. that, this is what I'm seeing online. Like this, this is something that I. Oh, that, that's absurd. That's no, a, I mean, they're saying that the the heat stroke has claimed the life of 30 ch children in 2014 and 44 in 2013. That many parents have left their children in the back seats in their car seats. I mean, how do you not know I don't know, know if that's worldwide, U.S.-wide, whatever, but that's a lot of people. I wouldn't be surprised if that's just Florida-wide. Yeah, it wasn't Florida-wide. I remember seeing that. That's not Florida-wide. That's Florida -wide. nasty, though. That's a vile human. Like, you can't forget your I mean, that's almost, Unless you got a that's medical condition a in your head that's whatever. But you, well, I mean, we've done so many where people left their That's kids. how we've always started the show, with something like this. Yeah, we used it was to do always, that every always. Week. That's just, disgusting. That's how often it happens. Now, it says under Florida law, it's illegal to have a child alone or unsupervised for more than 15 minutes. Technically, you can leave a child alone under Florida law for 15 minutes in the car. No big deal. No big deal. Ooh, Florida. Stay classy, Florida. Stay classy, Florida. Got to love it. All right, next one here. Uh, no, do we really have to? We found the most horrible things. Well, I mean, that's what you find. I mean, that's just the way it is. <laughs> These uh, are, like, if you can think of the most horrible things to talk about, the liege has found them, and he wants to share them with you. I have enough the stuff for about three soul. to four weeks worth of shows right he now. He's a dark soul. Uh, this one is really He's bad. He's a horrible person. Father walked yeah. in on rape of five-year-old girl at daycare. Oh. I don't want to talk about this. Well, no. Okay, so the father walked in to find his daughter and a 31-year-old male, male teacher crouched behind a bookshelf at the daycare. That's awful. Uh, teacher said they were having a tickle fight, of course. The classic tickle fight. <laughs> we were just having a tickle fight. Don't worry. Let me tell you something. If Michael Hill would have walked in on Bianca Jordan, something happened to her. A tickle fight. A killing spree. Would be the title of the <laughs> news article. Everyone dead in daycare. That is no, facts. No, listen, it's okay because the, the teacher said that he touched her beneath the underwear, but it was accidental. Yes, so correct, correct. Oh, no big deal. No, no it was terrible. This is terrible. This is horrible. I don't, I don't want to. Now, he's expected to be charged with first-degree child rape. As he should, at least. And I hope somebody child rapes him. Now, in this instance, though, if you're the father... At what point does this guy end up getting out of jail 
And do you end up killing him on sight? What point does he even make it to jail if you're the father? Well, if he's already in custody, though. But if you walk in on it, how do you not? Oh, no. Oh, at Jeez. that point, yeah. And then Snap you have a charge neck. yourself. I get it. But still, well, I mean, that makes sense. You'd probably get off temporary insanity. <laughs> well, okay, I wouldn't know because my father is non-existent at the All moment. All right. So how about the movie 187? Mm. Have you seen 187? That's Samuel not. Jackson, he's the father. Child gets raped. That is not 187. That's a time no, to that's, kill. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> a time to kill. 187. 187 is Samuel Jackson. He's a teacher in a really rough area in L.A. <laughs> And they end up playing Russian roulette. I get it. Yeah, I'm a little bit slow today. But, uh, but yeah, no, A Time to Kill. Matthew McConaughey, Samuel L. Jackson. That's a rough what movie. What if she was white? Yeah. That's a Imagine rough movie. Imagine she was white. I know that movie. Very rough movie. Have you seen that movie, Intern? No, I haven't. Time Intern to Kill, is a, have really, to it's a fantastic movie. No, it is. It's a, vintage it's a Matthew movie. McConaughey. He was really, really hot. Oh, we're not a but fan of vintage good. things in this house. Things that are older. Yes, sound you are. Like this is vintage right here. This couch is vintage right now. This couch is just very cheap, and the person who bought it wasn't thinking when he did. I spent so about nine hundred dollars on this. That's couch, why this couch this. looks the way it does. Yeah, that's fine. Other that's fine. than that, we're not a fan of antique, older things like names or I mean, Freya's an old name. So, all right, next one I got you here. Uh, doctors say victim of sixth. North Carolina shark attack in two weeks in serious condition. How do you have that many shark attacks in two it's weeks? Shark week. Six. Or shark weeks. Or shark weeks. Exactly. Shark weeks. Now, uh, last week, well, last week, last month. There was the two with the the arms. The two teenagers both lost arms in uh, North Carolina. Right, same yeah. side, same arms. Recently. Someone you know? Someone who goes to my church, yep. Yeah. Got bit by a shark. In New York City. Reef shark. No, he was in Bora Bora, but he's from New York City. Oh, he was in Bora Bora. Oh, what? must be nice. Oh, must, oh. oh I'm sorry. I just spent $24,000 to stay at Bora Bora, and I got bit by a shark. How inconvenient. Hey, don't hit his leg. Uh, so how bad was it? It was pretty bad. It was pretty gnarly. Did he yeah. lose limbs? No, he got gashed in his, like, nipple area. Oh, no. He lost his nipple area. Eh, not bad. Seriously? Was it like a baby reef shark? I mean, shark? I wouldn't take a shark it was, bite. I mean, I wouldn't of. take a mosquito bite. So <laughs> a shark bite is pretty freaking... I'm allergic to mosquito bites. <laughs> I, I mean, I would say that they're not bad like shark bites, but I would still think it's pretty cool to be bitten by a shark. I'll continue on this in a second, but how about the, uh, the surfer who got uh, not bit, his surfboard and his... Uh, leg wrap or whatever got bit in what was that south africa why was he swimming he wasn't swimming it was a competition but he was in the water he was swimming in the he's water he's a surfer where was his board under him <laughs> in the water he wasn't on top of the water he was like in like his neck was in the water like he, yeah, his he body was laying was on a surfboard there. There were waves. In the he was picture, on his surfboard. His body was in the water. Yeah, because he got knocked off of his surfboard. Yeah. The intern's struggling on this right now. So, <laughs> as, as a surfer, <laughs> you're on your board, and you you use your board as a propulsion device. I guess That's you could right? say. Ooh, look at that! You are fancy. Now the shark attacked him off of his board, and apparently he started punching the shark in the face. Well, to get rid of the shark. The guy that I knew, he was surfing as well. So, does he surf? Moral of the story: nipple? Do not surf. Yeah, it's really close. It's a it's a pretty so nasty. So it's like guess. right under his nipple, on the side, like of the it. areola. So, See, yes. it's right under the areola. No, it's to the side of the areola. To the side. Side of the areola. All right. So uh, the the sixth victim was an 18 year old person in the Outer Banks. I kind of want to go there sometime. The Outer Banks, North Carolina. Not me, but... Okay. Uh, it was a second shark attack in as many days. Two days, two shark attacks. Uh, there was a sixth attack in the last two weeks. That was as of June 28th. That's how far back we are right now. Yeesh. Current events, eh, not really. Not that current. No, no, no. no. A month passed. Well, speaking of past, uh, my time has passed too. No, it's can we, not. Can we end this one thing here? Yeah, let's just... If you can end it in a minute and a half, I told you this is non-negotiable. Always. Uh, witnesses say it looked like a bull shark. Go ahead. What oh. are you going to say? Um, that they have the highest testosterone. Bull sharks Ooh. do have the highest testosterone of any animal on earth. Yes, they any do. Any animal. Not a positive thing. It is Vicious. not a positive thing. Rip you apart. Take your arm off, your nipple, whatever it takes. Something tells me there's not bull sharks in Bora Bora. 
You don't know what's in uh, Bora, there's no Bora, Bora, Bora. Shark in Bora Bora. You have no, no idea Bora what's in Bora Bora. Reef sharks, maybe nurse sharks. Oh, because you've been to Bora Bora oh, and all the studied time. the all sharks the that are there. Yeah. Obviously, you know. Shark specialist. In Leash, Bora Bora. everything. You know everything. Leash. I'm all caught up here. All right, I'm better. Oh, so, no, uh, I too bad Bianca. it wasn't wrapped around your neck. That oh, would no. be unfortunate. <laughs> um, so, Bianca Jordan, uh, you got to get out of here? I got to get out of here. Aww. I know. We saw you for like five minutes. It was really almost an hour, but... Oh, wow. It actually was. It was pretty close. About 45 minutes. I went, past, minutes. I went past my necessary time out because I have to get The time rest. to leave, no wow. exceptions, was 10 p.m. and is now 10.15. Wow. No, that was like 20 minutes till, though. She was like, oh, 10 p.m., that was actually at 9.30. But. Yeah. yeah. I got the text to prove it. Okay. But glad to spend this time with you all. Have a lovely show. Yes. Yeah, we, we will try to have a lovely I show. It's starting off really good so far. No, and actually, it's going great yeah, right I now. I thought it was good. I think going it's great. going fantastic. Um, maybe uh, you can take these headsets. I'll take those headsets. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I can actually hear fantastic over here. You should come oh, sit over here. fantastic. I'm uh, trying to get the intern to come sit next to me. That here. proximity is I'll a see little... You have fun. Little have too close fun in for France. Me. Thank you. Oh, have fun in France. Yeah, have fun in France. <laughs> she wants. She wants no, a little to bit take of sausage, some pepperoni, my spaghetti. Yeah, a little bit of seasoning. A little bit of seasoning. A little, little bit of garlic bread. It's all about the seasons. A little bit of hugs, Bianca Jordan and the intern there. Thanks for stopping by and keeping me from murdering the liege. Well, you're going to go to Harlem, or a New York prison if you do that. Yeah, York you're going to go to Rikers. You're going to go to the tombs and then to Rikers Island. Oh, intern's going to end up at Rikers very soon. No, you're not. Oh, she might. <laughs> you don't want prison sex. Prison, no prison sex? Is that another topic? Because I want nothing to do with prison sex. Will you come sit next to me. Come on. Get if you here. say sorry, say it. I'm sorry for saying Freya was stupid. <sighs> I apologize. No, I really do. Thank you. I said it, it micro on me. I just got to give it time. Let's make sure we don't confiscate any of these drinks in this We're move here. Confiscating. We are Compromising, not confiscating. Compromising. compromising. I'm an idiot. That's, that's stupid. Confiscating would have meant that I was taking them away from you, in which sense I'm not doing. Exactly. <sighs> Craziness. So the next topic, where are we at? Next topic, we are, let me shut this one off here. Ah. I'm going to hand this to you here real quick. Okay. So while you're handing that to me, we have the uh, man wielding a machete after beheading a woman and got off on a not guilty charge. How is that even possible? Well, here's how that works. So guy's walking around carrying a machete, and he gets off being not guilty be on the uh, uh, grounds of insanity slash being diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. So this guy is caught on video. It's not even like, oh, hey, he said, she said. He's caught on video. Now, here's the issue. This guy beheads a great-grandmother outside of a North London home. Great-grandmother. Like, old-ass lady. Mm -hmm. And so, police captured him trying to smash into a backyard where children were playing after that. Wait, was it his great-grandmother? No, it wasn't his great-grandmother. It was just a, a, a great-grandmother. Like, she was so a great-grandmother. So why couldn't you say an old lady? It was an old lady. Oh, well, what? He no, beheaded I, I an old-as-fuck lady. That's what no, that No, and means. I did say that. You said it was a great-grandmother. Okay, well, because she was a great grandmother, does that doesn't mean that she just she wasn't just old so as fuck. So some old as fuck lady got beheaded, and this guy got off on beheading her. Now, technically, the way things are going these days, kids have kids at about seventeen. So if you're a great grandmother, fifteen. Okay, so well, let's. There's probably some twelve year olds out there. Let's give them the break on seventeen. So if you're seventeen, you have a child. They have a child at seventeen. That means you're a grandmother at. 34. You could be a great grandmother at 51 if the trend continues. That's disgusting. Do you know how embarrassing that is? You're going to be like 30 something and not even have a 10 year old. Like, that's weird. Got a little bit of black on your face. Must be from the, uh, the chair. The, 
the good old couch here. Did I rub my face on the couch? You must have, yeah. I had to have. Yeah. Obviously. So, yeah, at 51, you could technically be a great-grandmother. Weird. So, let's say we have a child in a couple years. And chances are our child would probably be a whore in some way, shape, or form. Weird. So let's say at 20, we'll give 20. Is that it taking after you? Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's if you want to think that. Uh, so, oh, can you hear that in there? Barely. Oh, wow. So you can actually hear. In no, I only, I only heard you whispering. What did you have to whisper? I didn't even say anything. So, Dick. Um, so yeah, so, I mean, technically, you could be a great-grandmother by about the age of about 75. That's gross. 75. Are you covering your face? No. Yeah, you are. You're Everybody right. should download this. What is this called? It's Periscope. Nobody's going to know this until after the fact. Download Because we're Periscope. not recording. Because we're currently point. recording, and you have a beautiful b- view of my Maybe. Bacardi Babries drink over my face. It's amazing. All right. So, uh, so this guy. Uh, wait, wait. Does that mean there's one person watching? I'm not really sure. <gasps> there's a little one there. What does that mean? I don't know. Press up. <gasps> I don't know how to work this. I don't either. Oh, we're to the side. What are you doing, one person? Speak to us. No? Nothing? I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how to use that. I don't I don't know what's happening. Okay. Okay, continue. All right, so. So this guy, when uh, he was uh, captured, running in this backyard where some kids were playing, What's it say? It just says there's one viewer. Just one viewer. There's Brutal. There's one live viewer, but he's not, they're not responding. Nah, it happens. Huh. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You're switching the camera there, boss. You're a boss. All right. No, we're good. We're totally good. All right, yeah. What the? All what? Right, okay, go. All right, so, uh, yeah, this guy, he was, uh, he was armed with a machete and a wooden pole crashed through gardens behind homes during his 45-minute rampage. Uh, during this rampage, police were trying to warn residents from house to house just because this guy was pretty pretty psycho, uh, running around with a machete, a wooden pole. Are we still talking about Beheading that? people. Yeah, pretty crazy. Next Even one. just grandma? N- next topic here. You're, you're not going to know anything about this, but... Uh, about Bobby Bonilla? Can you please say that name one more time? Bobby Bonilla? Bobby Bonilla. Yeah, absolutely. Bobby Bonilla. It says Bobby Bonilla. Yeah, it's Bobby Bonilla. <laughs> like vanilla, but vanilla. But it's Bonilla. It's Bonilla. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, it could be Bobby Bonilla. Like vanilla, you, but seductive. Like vanilla. Vanilla. Bobby Vanilla. Yeah, no, but it's Bobby Bonilla. Uh, he used to play for the New York Mets. I mean, he played for three or four other teams during his career. He played for the... Uh, Shit, the Florida Marlins when they won the uh, World Series back in 97. Um, but uh, he used to play for the Mets, and he's getting a seemingly unending stream of $1.2 million payments from the team as part of his 2000 contract buyout from the team. Is that a yearly payment? or? Well, yeah, it is. Now listen to this. The Mets bought him out. He had $5.9 million left on his contract. This was back in 2000. Okay. $5.9 million. Not much considering you know, professional consider. sports teams. What they did, instead of giving him the $5.9 million, is they gave him a 25-year plan where he can accrue interest. 25 years. Okay. From 2011 to 2035, he gets $1.2 million on July 1st every year. So basically what he did is he, what they did is they put the money in like a bank account or something like that for 25 years, they pay him $1.2 million, and that's going to pay off his $5.9 million. 25 years. But if it's $1.2 million every year, but they bought him out for $5.9 million, why does it take 2011 to 2035 to pay it off? Exactly. He is the smartest guy on earth because he is getting $1.2 million. They... they decided that instead of giving you this lump sum, we're going to give you $5.9 million now. They didn't want to do that. So what they decided to do was give him $1.2 million for 25 years. They made an agreement. 
if you're a team that's going to make that agreement, why not? That doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't that's make sense unless you're him. Almost. That's like $30 million. It's a lot more than that. Way more than that. No, actually, it's probably pretty close to $30 million. That makes me mad that people get paid that much to not really do much. I mean, if you think about it, Giancarlo Stanton, who currently plays for the Miami Marlins, makes $30 million a year. So, I mean, realistically, that's not that much money in the sports world. But for someone who is probably 50 years old by now, if not more, I mean, he's doing pretty good. And that would make him the 12th highest paid player on the Mets team this season. That's stupid. And that's embarrassing. That's because he kind doesn't of play for them. And hasn't played for them in 15 years. You know what I'm confused by is this next uh, topic that we have here. That um, Facebook even has a celibate pride tool. You say celibate or celebrate? Oh, celebrate. Oh, I thought it said celibate. Brutal. <laughs> I was like, who would want a celibate pride? All right. So, yeah, Facebook had this uh, celebrate pride tool that... Uh, <laughs> That apparently is it like let's all be like not sexual together there's a tool for it yeah no that's <laughs> not that because we're all not sexual no. and that works for everyone no so facebook celebrate pride tool might be another psychological test uh, the tool celebrates the supreme court's approval of same-sex marriage when facebook made this whole thing of everyone changes their profile with like a rainbow in the background oh yes that thing every yeah that thing all right, so uh, more than 26 million people change their profile picture to have a uh, rainbow in the background or something that associated with it. Uh, the Atlantic, which is this blog or, or something, some web page or something like that, um, they, uh, they speculated Facebook's using it to monitor how views are spread. Of course, Facebook dis denies this report. And uh, this would allow them to get insight on how to influence people. Now, here's the thing that I... I'm thinking of. Do you, do you remember probably a, maybe two to three years ago, maybe closer to three to four years ago, actually, when they had people put your favorite childhood cartoon on there and they had you change your profile picture to that? Uh, I was around when Facebook first started, and I don't it remember been that. Time. that. I don't remember that at all. Well, about well, I never really paid attention to any of those things either. Like, I face, oh, my gosh. Well, you need to probably take your shirt off because it's completely black. Oh, the couch? Yeah, it's really uh, bad. Hold on a second. Yeah. Ow, ow, taking your shirt off in front of the camera. He's so sexy. Uh, yeah, no, it's bad. We should take a picture of that and send it to I just vacuumed. Send that to Ashley Furniture. So my, my yeah, speaking of which, fuck Ashley Furniture. My question is, um, I I don't remember the cartoon thing, but I didn't know I that. I changed mine to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're gay. Yeah, I, I fell part of their trap. You realize you have a Facebook and I don't, and you're 32 and I'm 21. I mean, you could get a Facebook. It's just like the happy the birthday to. I don't want a Facebook. They're yeah. pointless. Yeah, that's what you say now. There's nothing happening on Facebook that I want any any part of. And then they have this Facebook previously caught attention for altering views feeds of uh, using psychological data. Like, what? No, that's like some crazy person who is like, Facebook is a conspiracy man. And then they have this whole big thing against Facebook when it's not a real thing. Yeah, but if you think about it, how many people, though, use Facebook, no. Twitter, Instagram, people things are just for their idiots. Life? They're just like, life. oh, my God, gay pride. I'm totally up for that. Let's change my Facebook profile to a rainbow. And then everyone who's gay is going to change it to a rainbow. And then everyone who supports it is going to change it to a rainbow. That has nothing to do with brainwashing or psychological anything. It's just people that are dumb and think that if they change their Facebook profile picture to something, it's going to make a difference. Yeah, but what I think it is is the fact that, like, let's just say that you know something someone who okay let's just say you have facebook let's say that you having facebook is then somebody you change your profile picture to some rainbow then all of a sudden two or three of your friends change and then two or three of their friends it's like a 
like a domino effect. Basically, what this is saying. It's like dumb people following dumb people. I mean, pretty much, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much what it is. Like, yeah. I'm going to switch my profile picture to a unicorn because my favorite non-existent creature is a unicorn. And then my best friend changes her you profile picture exist. to, like, a goblin. And it's like, I love goblins. And then all of a sudden, everybody's changing their profile pictures to mythological creatures. It yeah, doesn't make that. a difference. But mm-hmm. everyone's going to do it because it's a trend. It has nothing to do with Facebook. It has nothing to do with the creators of Facebook or anything like that. It's people being people which are dumb. People are dumb. I hate everyone. All right. So on uh, on that, I got a good one here for you. This is a July 4th special. Uh-huh. Uh, Scott Township special July 4th. What? Yeah, Scott Township special July 4th. Scranton, Pennsylvania this? from What's NYC. Great so in Courtney. Nobody cares about that area. So uh, yeah. this next story here. Man in Florida straps mortar to head, dies after it explodes. How is that Scranton? And she doesn't live in Scranton. She lives in Scott Township. I know. It was a joke. I was just saying July 4th because you um, took off on July 4th. Um, well, I didn't take off. I had a vacation. Can we, we're being professionals here. No, okay. As professionals you get, I guess. But this man in Florida, why the fuck, man in Florida, why would you strap a mortar to your head? Well, here's the first problem. He's from Maine. Seriously? That's the first problem. When you're from Maine, you don't do anything intelligent. Maine man and my Maine, Maine man in yeah, Florida. So man from Maine, but was in Florida at the time. Dad. Actually, he's he was from he's from Maine, was worked in Florida, but no, happened dead. in Maine. He put a f- mortar on his head and set it off. His name was Devin Staples. He was 22 years old, and he died instantly. Now, the mortar. A mortar. Yeah. Is, is that, like, the main part that you can, like, No, it's the part on? that shoots off, like a mortar. They shoot off in the air. So instead of shooting off in the air, it shot down, probably blew his head up. Joke's on him. You mean, like, was it in a barrel? I'm assuming because like did he strap a barrel to his yeah, head and then I mean, like light it? Technically, you could hold a mortar if you really wanted to, but right. if, it, if it fucks but, up. But generally, you put them inside yeah. of the barrels yeah. and then light them and then they yeah. blow. Okay, so he just literally strapped the literal main thing to his head. I mean, he could have. How did he expect not to die? I don't know. Well, uh, this guy he uh, lived in Orlando and he used to work at Disney World as Gaston. Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. He was one of the characters at oh Disney World. God, I didn't watch that a lot. Was that like her first husband? Like she was supposed to get married to him or something? Yeah, yeah. Gaston was the she was supposed the to handsome be fellow in Beauty and the Beast. But who, he was a dick. Who he lost out to? Yes. And then the Beast was really sweet he wasn't a, and nice. I don't you're know like a mixture dick, because you're a beast, but you're still a dick. I don't know. You if know? He was actually a dick, but. I mean, you know, best of both worlds. You can take what you can get. I guess. Yeah. Um. Much. All right, so next one here, uh, the Giants player, New York Giants, kind of local story here. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul uh, had a little bit of firework accidents of, of his own. Idiot. He uh, suffered an injury while setting off fireworks. He had, actually had to have two of his fingers amputated. As a defensive lineman in the NFL, two fingers are very important. Yeah, I was going to say, can you just explain to me how he's going to keep his career without two fingers? Well, here's the deal with him. He actually has a $14.8 million contract that he left on the table. It's uh, not signed No, he yet. didn't sign no. it. Oh, wow. Now, had he That's signed stupid. it previous to this and then had a little firework incident. He would still get it. Yeah, he still would have got it. But now they're not going to let him sign. No, he hasn't signed it. Over. No. no. Wow. Now, he will still get money. He's still going to be a player. He's still going to be in the NFL. He's still going to be in the Giants. He's still going to do this. Okay, was it his left or his right hand? Not sure. Uh, Don't know if it matters. As a defensive lineman, you you put your fingers on the ground. You push yourself off, things like that. But, yeah, so... uh, um, that's kind of uh, that's kind of important. That's a very important piece of your uh, anatomy, I guess, to be an NFL player. Definitely, I totally agree. Now, also, and to be even worse about this, Jason Pierre-Paul posted two videos that night on Instagram that showed him with a van, a rental van, U-Haul van, filled with fireworks. He showed his impending debt. What are you doing? <laughs> This whole, this, uh, what's this called? Periscope. Periscope thing is really entertaining because I can just sit here and watch myself. It is entertaining. Now, here's what we need to do. We need to get some followers. That's what we need to do. Oh, we only have one person watching. I don't think they're even listening. I mean, it's whatever. 
Well, they can't listen unless they're listening to us on this. I mean, we don't have it online. We're not live. So, so yeah. Um, okay, so can you explain to me, first of all, this whole thing that happened with the Confederate flag? Which we talked about last I was show, not which was a month here ago. here last show. But I know there was a thing where there was a guy who killed people, and he had a flag. Dylan Rue, fucking idiot. I don't really pay attention to the news. So um, he apparently got the Confederate flag banned for everyone. I'm not really... Pretty much. I think what it was was uh, people who wanted to get it banned as it was. Uh, this is their why? S- so saving why grace. Why would people want it banned? I think the idea is that it is negative, it's uh, How slavery so? driven, you know, stuff like that. And well, my, my personal my personal opinion is that it's not slavery driven, it's not anything that relates to that. I mean that flag doesn't actually have anything to do with the South in terms of it's not like a, a meaning for the it was a battle flag. The Confederate flag, according to Google, is one of the most controversial Inflammatory icons of American culture. Simple reading. Here. Is yes. that really? Reading. <laughs> That's just a weird description to yeah. put. Inflammatory, real tough. I mean, I think it's just a weird description. Fuck off. And even as a significant presence abroad, what causes people to feel so strongly about the emblem of a regional entity that ceased to exist over 130 years ago? Well, I the answer to that. It's what relevance does such a symbol have that wasn't an answer? Yeah, see, so here's the thing. Uh, It was a battle flag. It was a battle flag from back in uh, um, the, what is that, the Revolutionary War. It was a a battle flag back in uh, the Civil War. So what's so bad? I don't... Because of what it stands for now. It's Which is? Well, now it stands for racism and slavery. No, it stands... No, it doesn't. Because well, today... Today's just because all rednecks in the universe have that flag flying outside of their trailer park does not mean that it stands for racism only. Well, correct. There's I mean, I completely things. agree. But... Uh, so Warner Brothers uh, bans a Dukes of Hazard car with the Confederate flag. Uh, the company who's licensed to reproduce the Confederate flag, branded General Lee, as a toy, will no longer make them. I mean, you can't ban the. That's a classic. Uh, well, People grew up on that. I get it. And uh, I get them oh, not. Oh, I'm sorry. The Flash. The Flash the, yeah. branded. Oh, I'm sorry. The Confederate flag branded uh, General Lee. One mistype. One mistype in three notes. Great. Three pages of oh, notes. Oh, three pages of notes. And you got the flag wrong? Yeah. Wow. Out of all things, what are you, anti American? Apparently. Well, no, it's a Confederate flag, so it actually has nothing it's to do flash. with It's Flash. So, uh, not only. Now, uh, okay. I get them not making any more based off this, but. It's to the point to where uh, the channel TV Land has pulled all Dukes of Hazard shows amid this controversy. So no more replays of Dukes of Hazard. It has a Confederate flag in it. No more replays. And is this ever since the crazy redneck since with Dylan the Ruth flag? Did, uh, well, not since did then. I mean, maybe people? about nine like people. Nine people. What was it for? In again? a church. In a church. In Charleston, South Carolina. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, that's just idiotic, though, because it's just like, what did we just want? Oh, just like on wrestling, just like on wrestling, how um, Hulk Hogan apparently made some racist comments. He did. He did. I mean, we, we read it earlier. Yeah. But WWE, after having Hulk Hogan as an icon, not just a part of their company, but as an icon for how many years? I mean, he's been around since the, the early 80s. At least. And they're going to be like, you know what? We have no more affiliation with Hulk Hogan. No matter how much he's done for this company, no matter how much we have bettered ourselves through him because of his iconic character in our company, we're completely going to write him off. Yeah, no, I I agree. I, I, I think that that's... Idiotic. I mean, but looking at the statements he made, that is pretty bad. And when you're looking at a company like WWE, it's not like mom and pop's restaurant down the street. It's a company that supports anti-bullying, supports things like that. I mean, yeah. that's kind of a tough. And when you have one of the guys who's been associated with you for, you know, 35 years, if not more, it's kind of a bad look. Yeah, but what 
they're trying to change their look so five year olds watch it instead of yeah, I don't people, agree. What well, was wrestling at ten years ago? Oh, was it, well, ten years ago, huh? Eh. If, if 15, 15, 20 years, years ago, ago, amazing. Completely Blood, different. They say whatever uh, they want. Telling people to suck it, uh, bitch, ass, all this other type stuff. Now they're just becoming. You can't even say ass. You can't. And they do apparently newly um, with. What's his face? Uh, Brock oh, Lesnar. Oh, Paul, Paul Heyman. Paul yeah. Heyman saying to the Undertaker, yeah, you. That his you ass might have sold your soul to the devil, yeah. but your ass is Brock Lesnar's, yeah. But I mean, that's a surprise. It's like, oh, I can't believe he just said that oh, in front Paul of five-year-olds I mean, who that's are. An, that's an ECW guy. How can he say that in front of five-year-olds who are watching WWE now? Nobody's gonna watch it. Like it's they're kind of ridiculous. Thing, just like this thing with the whole flag. To boost like, ratings, that would bring people back. Well, honest. one guy said one thing pertaining to that one item and now all of a sudden to prove Americanism and being against everything that he was against we have to ban a flag I mean to be honest that's represented America basically a, for how long what did this well the south it was a it's, battle flag and I mean South Carolina United, that's their state way, flag way way past that but how this came about with him was he took a picture online of him with a uh, Confederate flag. Like, that's the picture that, if you look up Dylan Roof right now, it will show a picture of him sitting there with a Confederate flag. That's the picture that's going to show up. Right, like him. standing, like no, squatting sitting, right next to it, right? Sitting in a, uh, in a white um, just lawn chair with a Confederate flag. Okay. Like Google him right now. That's what you're gonna see. I I don't I don't want to. Weird. I'm not in the mood. All right. So to continue the story, uh, after uh, all this uh, with the whole Warner Brothers and Dukes and Hazard, it was just days after uh, uh, companies decided to stop selling the products that related to flag. That includes Walmart, Sears, eBay. All right. Google, how is Walmart Etsy, and NASCAR even Etsy? got rid? NASCAR even got rid of Confederate flags, which flew at every single one of their events, regardless whether it was New Hampshire to fucking what? Daytona. What? And then soon after that, Amazon followed. And since all this happened, whatever sites had things available, collectors just buying stuff up because that's going to be worth money. You have a Confederate flag item, that's going to be worth money. That's pathetic. That's life. That's literally the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Now, one of the... Uh, what is the world turning to? One of the stars of Dukes of Hazard, John Snyder, uh, he slammed TV Land for, uh, on a July 1st interview about the uh, overly uh, politically correct reaction to the Confederate flag rather than actually stepping up to the plate and saying, that really has nothing to do with this show. It has nothing to do with what we're doing here. Uh, he said the show is no more a show seated in racism than Breaking Bad was a show seated in reality. Which, I mean, Breaking Bad was pretty much relatively real. First like, of all, I want to say I love John Snyder because he's amazing because he was the dad in Superman um, in Smallville. And um, oh second of all... Oh, that guy? Yeah, yeah that guy. Okay. No, he's amazing. Um, that flag was... A, it was more of like a... It's like a rebellious, like, we're good old boys. Kind of against the law. Yeah, yeah, but not anything even in relevance to racism or anything negative towards That's how this people. world's taking it, though. I uh, This is... Can we go to Mars? Or, like, I don't know. They apparently, I read, um, found a new planet, and they're naming it, like, Earth something... It's some random number because it has the same elements that Earth has to hold life. And it just came out. I know nothing about it. I'm not even looking at anything while I read or say this to you in person. Well, maybe you can look up something and give it to us next time. Yeah, maybe next time. Save that Earth shit for a later date. All right, so also what John Steiner uh, said during his interview was uh, he was sad in that one angry and misguided individual can cause one of the most beloved shows in history to be seen in this light. So because one person's fucked up mentality can change the fact that the, the show Dukes of Hazzard, which I wasn't a big fan of. I was just never, I never really got into it, never really watched it. Uh, but that show can be taken off air now because of one dumb fuck's 
actions and ideas, I guess. It's because a group of weak people were like, oh, we don't want the civilization of America to, you know, be threatened by this. So let's just make sure that it basically doesn't exist anymore. That'll make everyone feel better about themselves. It could. Which I is guess. sad and pathetic. Sad. But um, that's it. All right, so our last topic of the day is going to be the uh, the one we do every time as a last topic. It's going to be more of a local story. Seriously? Uh, local story here. Woman 34 dies moments ever getting butt enlargement. I can't. Uh, Kelly Mayhew and her mother drove from Maryland for the procedure with a stranger in Queens. Uh, the procedure was for a butt enlargement, injections from an unlicensed doctor in a New York basement. So basically, they probably found a Craigslist ad or something like that. I don't with know. With a random details. person. With a random person, and it was in a basement in Queens. Um, the person, Kelly Mayhew, started having trouble breathing during the procedure. The mother started performing CPR and asked the woman to call 911. As she asked the person to call 911, she fled from the home in a gray SUV. Uh, the mom then called a friend who connected them, but she didn't pick up either. Uh, this person, as of me reading this, again, this is probably from about a week and a half to two weeks ago, if not more, uh, has not been found. Has the mom. No, not the mom, but the lady who, who was doing surgery. the procedure. Yeah. Uh, the mother said her daughter had previously had five plastic surgeries for her butt. Um, this for is her butt in particular. Yes. Uh, she didn't try like running or like jogging. No, when like I show you the picture, you you'll you'll know. Does she have a great butt or what? No, it is massive. It's not a great butt. It's one of those people who like needs a Kim to Kardashian the butt. Much bigger. That's ridiculous. Because Kim bigger. Kardashian's butt is unrealistic. But hers is real, I think. Kim Kardashian? I mean, I don't know. I'm not a Kardashian mark, so I don't know. But, I don't but know. you can tell that this chick's ass is fake. You, you see fat, fat chicks walking down the block who have massive asses, and you know they're big because they're just big. Like that's the case. This chick, you can tell her ass is big because she made it big. Ooh. Like you can tell. Yikes. So, in this instance, I don't feel bad that this happened. That she died. Well, no, I don't. I feel bad she died. But I don't. If you're gonna go to a basement of then a stranger's house, then you probably deserve to die. To get a butt injection, come on, man. Seriously. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Especially, and then you're gonna have your mom take you. Your mom, being the responsible adult in life, okay, is gonna take you to get. Okay, this lady's 34 What do you mean responsible adult? The lady's 34. She's not 17. I guess her mom taking her to get a butt injection in a basement doesn't make her a responsible adult it makes her she should be responsible over her daughter like she should, should be able to be. be like look daughter you're a fucking idiot calm the fuck down should be you need to chill the fuck out daughter because yeah, your butt's you fine be. i don't know i i've never really understood plastic surgery surgery i don't plastic know surgery? Surgery. yeah i don't i don't know i don't that's not my thing i'm gonna get a boob job one day no i think you're perfect you don't need one oh i do so straight from the liege's mouth to the intern exactly so the next time we do a show it's probably going to be on monday i'm going to have to set some time aside and do some new show notes for the new one and actually have a phone to look stuff up on. Yeah, well, it'll be one of us. It'll be one of us to do that. Yeah. Uh, because we'll have Periscope on the other one. Definitely. Um, so Monday afternoon, 3 o'clock, on the whole Radio Sherry gimmick. Um, 